Welcome everybody to Rob's Metalworks. We are still here at the Big Texas Metal Fest. Things are winding down a little bit. The heat has subsided, but it yet has. the brutality is continuing. We just saw upon a burning body, which was cool. Amazing, amazing. Uh, amazing, always. yeah. Uh, but so happy to catch up with Isaac and Giancarlo of Left for Dead, who played this event yesterday. Yes. So gentlemen, ah. thanks, thanks uh, for continuing to stick around uh, today. I'm sure you're continuing to enjoy the festivities. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 100%. Just so, so hot, like insanely hot still. I mean like, but just even being, I'm so sunburned. I don't even know if like you can see it, but oh, <laughs> yeah, I can see. Sunburned little motherfucker. It's it's horrible, but I mean, it, you got to suffer for your heart sometimes. Yeah, this is what yeah. you got to do, man. I love so, it. So you guys, uh, before we t start talking about yesterday, you guys, uh, it's important to note that I think that you guys like earned your spot at this event. Yes, we did. We really yeah. Talk did. a little bit about how it was to kind of. Uh, kind of win your spot on, uh, to, to play here. Yeah, we um, we uh, definitely uh, uh, had a chance to do the Battle of the Bands, and uh, the really funny thing about it was, is like we weren't even thinking about it. John messaged us in the group, was like, "Yo, let's do. Uh, hey, there's a Battle of the Bands. Let's try to get on it." We got on it, and uh, we, uh, you know, such a cool, cool opportunity. And to hear our names win it was yeah. probably the best feeling ever, honestly. There like, was two was, bands who won, right? That there night? was two bands, Living Hollow, which is really sick, yep. by the way. Yep. They played the day. Uh, yep. They were the first man to go on too, as well on this stage. So we interviewed um, them earlier today. Those yeah. guys are awesome. Love Living Hollow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the opportunity was insane, and just again, like hearing our names called and and that we won and to play here, and it, it's just uh, definitely a big experience. And I know I can speak for the guys at how amazing the opportunity was and how uh, you know such a, a big event on a good scale like this for us. Is, right. Uh, uh, you know, a learning experience as well. So right. Awesome. Awesome. Great exposure too yes, to 100%. a lot of new fans. Oh yes, maybe yes. Uh, who you know aren't too familiar with our essay scene, but up here got to check you guys out. I heard a lot of great things about your show yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah, really, I did. Yes. I did. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, so just... I know that you guys made some new fans. Um, how, and so, Giancarlo, how did you first hear about Big Texas Metal Fest? Well, I first heard about it because of the battle itself, and then. I think they started kind of teasing uh, All Shall Perish when yeah. th th that was like the first oh, big right. comeback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was super hyped just being <laughs> an OG, like old, old, old head that just grew up on that kind of style of yeah. deathcore. When I saw that name, I was like, bro. And then like, again, when I, I didn't really consider the, the festival until that like, I was just really like, I think we actually have a shot. Let, let's let's see what we could do. I know we, we feel confident in our abilities and just like our crowd work and everything like that. So it just really worked in our favor. And now we get to play with these bands, Upon a Burning Body, Victims, all those like first batch of bands. All the bands that, that are playing are just absolutely monster and killer. Oh, yeah. So it really means a Insane. lot to be on, on this lineup with them. You know, I, was, I did a podcast interview the other day and we were talking about San Antonio Metal uh, with Pulse L L LC. I don't know if you guys ever heard of them. Um, but uh, they were like, Rob, you know, talk about some of the new and up-and-coming young bands. And I, of course, mentioned you guys. I mentioned oh, thank you, Crossways thank you. 3000. Crossways, uh, I boys. talked about Morning Sun. Hell yeah. And then uh, the guy, you know, he's not a metalhead per se. He said, oh, what about Upon a Burning Body? <laughs> and I said, yeah, dude, I mean, they're still doing their thing and they're, they're, they're better than ever. I said, but to me, th those guys are like veterans already. Those guys are like, yeah. yeah they're veterans. I mean, they, I think they're going to be 20 years old pretty soon. I think I've they're, seen them probably. They're the dads of San Antonio, yeah, for they, sure. <laughs> they yeah. really are. They're, they're the benchmark of San Antonio, like just how far this kind of style of music can go. And, you know, they're, and there's always going to be kind of like the, you know, where, who's the next Upon a Burning Body? Who's the next San Antonio band? And, you know, yeah. so. Take their spot, right? I don't know if we'll be able to take it, but I mean, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get as close as we can. I think I've seen a Pond and Bernie body about a hundred times by now. Like <laughs> playing with them is so awesome, always. always da awesome. Danny's so good at working the crowd, isn't he? Dude, yeah. it's like he just works that crowd up into a frenzy. And that's just something I try to like. I look up to as well. Yeah, like yeah. I love his crowd work. I love how he deals with it. Um, and that's something I you know I admire and I I try to you know. Uh, you know, try to take some things as much as I can and make it in my own or you know, right, something. So. Right. I chatted with him uh, earlier in the day, and he said he was going to come by and chat with us too. So I look forward to getting the lowdown on, on what's going yes, on with yes. them. But let's talk about Left for Dead now. Uh, I 
uh, you know, Ethan and I stay in touch. And uh, he's kind of sent me some some stuff, some new stuff from Left 4 Dead. Oh, yeah? okay. I think some of them are roughs. Yeah, they're roughs. Okay. But he's like, Rob, check this out. What do you think? And uh, I think one of the first tracks that he sent me was Necromancer. Necro Dancer. Necro yes, Dancer. Yes, yes. Uh, has that song been officially released yet? Not yet. So we have a music video for it right now. That's uh, we actually have three music videos. And, they're not uh, out yet. They're not out yet. No. Okay. Good. They're loaded in the chamber. They're loaded in the chamber. We're hopefully trying to get it out soon. We're aiming for next month. We'll, we'll see how things go. But we are. Uh, we got the videos. Well, so it's just a matter of how we're gonna get the rollout, making sure everything is kind of a steady stream. But. Yeah, the Nec Necro Dancer, that's going to be the first one, and it should be out very, very soon. I remember you, we talked about the video for a little bit when you were still working on it, yeah. or finding a yes. place for it. Yes. Yes. Where, where did y'all do it at, after all? We did it at uh, Vibes Underground. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was really, really cool, and we had about, maybe about 40 people come out and yeah. uh, hang out with us. Thank you to Jen at Twin Productions that yes. came in so clutch, and thank you to the people at the Rockbox Vibes that let us do the yes, video there. Yes, 100%, yes. It, 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 the whole feng shui of getting everything together for that video was a lot, but I think it really came out. It, it, it's totally worth it. Just once the video drops, that in all our opinions, we think it's one of our best so wow, far. Wow. I can't wait to hear the, the, the final product and, and, of course, see the video. So coming soon, within the next month or so. Next month for sure. If next it goes past sure. that, I don't know. Don't, and then a, yeah. and then a couple of singles at more singles after that yes yeah, so we got again we have those three three uh, music videos we're just gonna keep going after going and then uh, just keep promoting keep promoting just keep. will there be a will there be an official EP release in the future you think or is singles the way you guys are going right now it's we're kind of on the fence just because there there's some kind of uh, uh, just a little bit of figuring out. We just need to kind of plant our feet and make sure that we're doing this right. We want to make sure that once we hit the ground, we hit it running. So um, we, we're uh, definitely going to plan on, uh, like I said, we, we have a few in the chamber right now. So it's not going to be just one and done. We're, we're going to have enough content to get people through the rest of the year for sure. Cool. Cool. Uh, so what is the rest of 2024 hole for the band? I mean, what do you guys want to do once these singles start coming out? Uh, do you guys still want to play out a lot, or oh, yeah. we, we want to get get as many? I mean, we want to play Texas, of course, establish ourselves as much as we can here. Get outside of Texas. We just want to spread the word, show people what we got. I think for us, it's just a matter of getting in front of people, like we did for this festival, and just showing people that you know, hey, we we belong where we are. Right. I think a really cool thing. I think what we're also thinking of doing also is uh, doing small little runs every maybe every uh, or like. The weekend, right? You know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, go to Dallas. We never played in Dallas. Yeah. And oh my God, I want to go to Dallas so bad uh, to play there. What so, other What other markets do you think are good for you, or where have you seen like good reception? Austin. 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 We play every time we play in Austin. It's always a great time. There's always a good crowd. You know, and it's so cool. I don't. I don't know why. Uh, Austin, Houston as well. They're, they're fucking violent. That's for us. right. Corpus. Houston's crazy with yeah. the, the pits. Houston's insane. Yeah, those guys are. Those, what those about people. the the real Grand Valley? Is that something y'all talk about? Um, <laughs> I think uh, McAllen has been brought up here. There, uh, we've we have played Laredo. We had we had a good uh, showing there. That was uh, an insane experience. Yeah. That was weird. That was crazy. Yeah, no, it, it, it's yeah, it, it's definitely. I mean, there's so many small places in Texas. It's like you could do your own Texas thing for weeks, you know, and it's just like you know. We, we definitely want to get more out there south, but we want, we need to branch out outside of Texas as well. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's good, guys. Uh, I look forward to hearing new music and seeing your videos, and and uh, hopefully uh, maybe later this year we can have uh, the band back on Rob's in the studio Let's do it. and promote these singles the way they should be. Of course. Of course. And, uh, you know, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Is there Thank anything you. that I missed uh, maybe that we should have talked about today about with Left 4 Dead, anything that I miss, or anything we should cover? I think, I mean, that's all we gotta do on ourselves is push stuff out, and, yeah, that's, yeah. What, and that's what we're gonna do this year, I promise you. I know I could, I know we all promise that we're gonna put everything out this year, because we gotta do it. We gotta get the ball yeah. rolling again. We gotta be. It's been too long. It's been too long since we've 
officially released anything. We've had people in the scene here, some some snippets here and there, but to have it officially released and officially out there, that's 100% the goal, 100% to get out and, and spread the message. I remember the last time we saw y'all play was at the, the Happy Place? The Happy Place, yeah. And that little fucking <laughs> place. And, uh, it was so cool, the, the ambiance and everybody was getting crazy. Oh, it was fun, but it was a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but or saw, but JB's camera got fucking like slapped oh, out of his right. fucking hand. Yes. Remember that? Yeah. And now I'm he's sorry. got that. My man, that's sick. Okay, I'm stuffed, dude. Yeah, and every, every he was freaking out. He almost got in a fight with the guy who who hit him. Oh my god. And dude. I was videotaping, so I got it on tape. <laughs> Our kids have to come with a warning from now on. Just, <laughs> dude, that's funny. It was crazy. It that's was crazy. crazy. No. But luckily, you know, everything worked out. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So good, guys. So happy uh, that. Uh, you guys are here uh, the day that we're here so that we could talk and chat and get yes. caught up with Left 4 Dead. It's been a little while since you've been on Rob's, but uh, I wish you guys nothing but the best this year Thank and you, in Rob. 2025 because it seems like time's going by so fast, right? It's crazy. So quick. It's we're crazy. So quick. I see uh, I, uh, Isaac, you know, we're all friends on social media, so, you know, I see you with your little boy and stuff. And, Sometimes I feel like telling you, man, man, relish in those moments, boy. Oh, 100%. Before you know it, your kid's going to be asking you for 20 bucks. Yeah, I know. I know. He, yeah. he actually was just on stage with us last week. Yeah, I saw so that. I saw I, that. I brought him up stage. I, got, I made him a Left 4 Dead shirt, and uh, he had the best time just going wow. up there. And wow. he loved it. I think, I mean, he had a great time. How old is he now? He's three. Oh, so, wow. I thought he was older than that. <laughs> he's yeah, a big boy He's for a big three, kid. But he, he, de he definitely appreciated it going up there. He talks about it all the time now. Nah, it's cool. so funny. He's grown with the band, literally. He really has gone with the band, <laughs> Dad's a singer for Left 4 Dead. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, one, day, know? one day, one day, one day. Did you know? Well, that's cool, man. Yeah, relish in those moments, bro. Uh, and relish in all the moments uh, that you have with the band, too, because, you know. Uh, they go by quick. It just goes by quick. They go you by know? quick. I think relish in the times. The that's why, like, even tonight, like, my, my people are tired, man. We're, we're beat already. But we're like, come on, you know, we got a little bit more to go. It's a tough, it's a tough one. Yeah. And, and I think yesterday being being experience of it was insane. So, I get, I get it. It's hot. It's I was crazy. out in the. I went. I wanted to go see some bands play. So I, we were out there, and the sun was just beating me down, bro. And I was like, I can't be out here for too long, cause, you know, I'll I'll be done by fucking five five o'clock. <laughs> yeah. So yes. I got out of the, and then I went to go see a pond right now earlier. Yeah. And my, my camera was all getting dusty and sh oh, full of yeah. dust. Look at my shoes. They're all man, fucking they, they dusty. They still look great. They still look great. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so <laughs> you got you just you do it all for the love of metal, right? Right. 100%. All for the love of metal. So thank you guys so much uh, for stopping by. Remember, everybody, new music from Left 4 Dead coming later this year. Be sure to look for it. You saw them here on Rob's at the Big Texas Metal Fest.